Let's go. Come on, man. What are you waiting for? I'm ready. Let's go. Come on. I'm ready. Bring it on. Let's do it. Let's react to something. Good. Hey, welcome back to our Super Directions. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. And Twitter, Instagram. And juicy content. Twitter. So juicy. Oh, yeah. Also, Patreon. Follow the official account. Ring the bell. We've got the notification squad. Bye. Up there. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Ring that bell. And <laughs> I'll be reacting to a video. Versus uh, what? We always react to videos. Uh, GIF, maybe. Uh, uh, oh. uh, memes. Uh... <laughs> But yes, uh, this is called a tour inside Anyard Kashyap's DVD library. Uh, oh. I think Anyard Kashyap is a major cinephile, uh, which obviously isn't surprising at all. Not a surprise uh, at all. Yeah, but <laughs> um, yeah, he. Uh, I think Quentin has a massive DVD collection. Oh uh, yeah, Anyard. I mean, um, Guillermo del Toro has a monster collection, which is really correct. Cool. You've never seen that. Um, and so, I, obviously, filmmakers are usually big cinephiles. So uh, it'd be interesting to see. Like, I, I'm hoping he goes over like, what's <laughs> like his favorite film and like which one he's watched the most. I, I think it'd be me too. But this is going to be very intriguing. Are you ready? I'm now ready because I got my ear hole filled. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Is driving you crazy that it's not alphabetized? That's my wife. Hi, this is Anurag Kashyap and welcome to my film library. And here are the five filmmakers I would very strongly recommend. <laughs> uh, this is Samuel Fuller. All his films are here. And this is a box set that just came out of these, his very rare movie. And Samuel Fuller is a filmmaker whose film you know, like, I'm writing he's this a noir down. filmmaker who's also made some extremely, extremely controversial movies that were blacklisted in Hollywood also at the time. Ooh. And he also wrote one book, which actually officially got published last year, much years after his death. There's another filmmaker that I, my go-to filmmaker is Fritz Lang. And this is the whole of Fritz Lang. Right, I'm slowly, the ones that are coming out on Blu-ray, I'm replacing the DVDs with the Blu-ray. So Fritz Lang, and most of him is now available on a Blu-ray. So this That's is a, a lot of movies you should get. And Fritz Lang is God by all means. And you see Fritz, his films, and you'll Fritz realize Lang. all the cinema that we see today, from a Marvel to the big mainstream movies, somewhere always go back to Fritz Lang. Everything, all the Nolan, all the Fincher, everyone goes back to Fritz Lang. Really. He's the man who defines cinema for us. What's he part of? How do I and not know Fritz Lang? I feel the same way. And finally, he's also now available all on Blu-ray. And Jean-Pierre Melville is right here. And he's all on Blu-ray now. And there's six films here and the three outside. Jean-Pierre Melville is the best thriller chase films that he has made. And he's a lot of films that he has that's a lot of movies. I thought I had a lot Another of movies. Another filmmaker that I would very strongly, strongly, strongly recommend is... Not, it's not really a filmmaker, filmmaker, but this is something that I believe everybody should watch. Yeah, I need the cameraman to chill out. Behind Martin Scorsese, being a filmmaker also. And these Yakuza papers. This is literally six films where you understand the whole Japanese crime kind of a history of it and it's very rarely available but this is something that one filmmaker should see this whole style of filmmaking is what influenced uh, all the bone movies all green grass and you see a whole lot of indie filmmakers making thriller it all goes back to him and yakuza people and he's a he's a filmmaker who's that the way he the kinetic energy of that style of making films and and editing and putting it together and Following the characters and this whole, it's all there. The, another filmmaker that I would very, very strongly recommend, and I, I would recommend his early films, which I think people don't know, is Kesini I have to help. Oh my goodness. Is a very popular 
जैपनीज फिल्म मेकर कोरोसावा बट यू हैव टू सी हिज अर्ली फिल्म इज वेरी वेरी अर्ली फिल्म
it, it would make me sad to think that a filmmaker isn't a lover of film. It would be like finding out someone who's an actor doesn't love acting and didn't want to read all of the different people who've taught it and watch all of the great performances. It would be like, why are you doing what you do if you don't love this stuff, man? Yeah. 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 That, yeah. That's great. But yeah, he. Uh, I, I, I would love to go through the collection and see what he has, though. Like, I just want to talk to him about film um. <laughs> for hours on. And man, you know, think, you know how much we could learn from that guy. Yeah, and uh, also he was. I think a lot of Indians should um, listen to him in terms of. Um, he said everything has comes from somewhere. Everything has a genesis. Indians yes. don't want to hear that, <laughs> but he he knows, and it could be he understands the, the genesis could be in India. I'm not saying it's not not in India, but everything right. comes from somewhere. Everything was inspired by something, uh, right? <laughs> something that came before it, uh, and that's right. not a bad thing. <laughs> he understands, uh, but yeah, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, that was cool. I, have to say. <laughs> I do too. I loved it. <laughs>